Hi, I'm Russ from York's John Music Production. I'm here to talk a little bit about the industry connections we have. York's and John's Music Production Suite, of course, is, was built on industry connectivity, whether that be through our own endeavours uh, in industry, uh, where you know, many of us are part-time and running businesses, as I am, outside of the university, but also um, from a perspective that our connections are so closely linked with what we do on a daily basis at the university um, that all of our industry partners have had a, a lot to do with the writing of the programme. But it doesn't stop there. Um, it goes on to help with the delivery too. So, for example, in the first year, um, our students all work on a very large project with a local artist called Heather Findlay, who has uh, was once the lead singer of Mostly Autumn um, and has also got her own record label and produced producing her own music as well as uh, putting out other artists as well and and all of our students work with Heather very closely over a 10-week period during the second semester in the first year. When you get into the second year you will be working with a guy called Simon Snays writing music for him to perform. He will be liaising with you and writing that music with you. He will be getting you to produce it to the best of quality possible and he sometimes uses that material going forward. Come to the third year, you are concentrating more and more on your own stuff, but the connections don't stop there. In the third year, there are lots of little projects that we do, um, expanding your horizons just slightly outside of the music production pocket in our in our business module at that year. So we'll do little projects talking with other industry partners about what they do and why. Throughout all three years, there is connectivity with industry. We have an industry day every year where we invite um, several people, often ex-students who have gone on to do great work um, in their own right, often headline producers, people like Andy Barlow of Lamb, uh, Robert Orton, who mixed uh, Lady Gaga's uh, Fame Monster album, amongst many other things, uh, Phil Harding, who walked, worked with Stock Aiken and Waterman and was uh, pretty much responsible for the engineering on all of the things like Kylie, Jason Donovan, Dead or Alive, and a million other things, all the way up to East, East 17 and Stay Another Day, the, the song that we hear every Christmas, plus many, many other people that we could list and... Well, I'll probably try and put that in the post, actually, all the people that have come. Every year, our students get a, a day of workshops, of sitting with those industry people, and we all go down the pub at the end of the day. The whole idea is the students get to sit down and have a relaxed conversation, networking, which is a key aspect of what we do on the programme. Networking, at the end of the day, is how the music industry works. It's who you know, it's how you're connected, and what you can offer them as a uh, producer, engineer or a music industry professional. So I hope the industry connectivity here makes sense and um, adds to the professionalism of the course. The one thing probably to add and finally put on is the fact that music business is linked in throughout the whole of the course it's ingrained in the program so year one there is a business module where in the first semester we look essentially at uh, what the industry is doing and how it has historically grown to where it is today and all the shifts and changes we've just been through a fairly massive and rapid change actually technologically into streaming over the last few years with some very interesting statistics to talk about. In the second semester the students move on to creating their own business plans, starting to turn the music industry on themselves and think about how they can create some great content, some great business ideas going forward. Some of those businesses that we start as germs of ideas at the beginning of year one go on to become real businesses. Please look up Commuter Films, which was once um, Luke Lewis Productions. Um, also have a look up at Mentality Magazine. You'll see some great examples of one business a student set up many years ago with a friend of his. That's just two of many ideas. And the interesting thing about it, of course, is you'll see from both of those videos, they're not music production specific. Our graduates are usually very adept to working in all kinds of areas. It's not just sitting behind a mixing console making music. They can turn their hands to web design, turn their hands to filming, turn their hands to all kinds of things. So that is a really key aspect of how the industry get involved and those graduates come back and talk to our students and that's what's fantastic. So I hope that gives you some kind of idea of the industrial um, connectivity within the course, the way in which we think about the course 
and we hope that that's a great way you can see how the industry is connected to York St John Music Production and what we have on offer for our students. Thank you.